Germany versus England. And now we have, let's see it with the standings, it is 2-2. Two, two. Um, Germany has won. Uh, one extra game that we don't see here. It is Gomez, aka Worker that took on Hammertron and Crane. And that went to Germany. This time we have Archer, Marcus Archer, playing against Chalasa. So it's Unicorn versus Scorpion. Let's have a quick look at the deck lists. And the players are ready and waiting. If the decks decide to load, here is LLO HMT Agro Earth Agro FFG Keeper. So it is pretty much Swarm Deluxe. Keeper Earth, a bunch of low costers, a shallow planes, interesting. And yeah, a bunch of two costers, three three costers in four no Tetsuko, and no bigger characters than that. So he's on Dose Serve. Yeah, this is super swarmy, super aggro. I'm gonna love watching this deck go. It's gonna be a bunch. He has like all the two costers on this challenge here is in there, and let's play skirmishers in there. Golden Plains Raider, a lovely card. I gotta say, I really love this card. Even though I don't play it that much, it's really cool. So that's gonna be interesting. That is the wrong page. Here we go. Shadows Fall, Keeper of Air, Secret Cash, Effective Deception, Meditation, Shameful, Rebels out of Kirin by Yushi. So the, um, the restricted card is Forged Edict. And with Infiltrator's Tools, Noble Sacrifice, Compelling Testimony. So this is a kill deck. He has the old Shoju as well, yeah. And Aramoro. A lot of covert here with the Shinobis and the reckless, reclusive Sokujin. You see Roommonger to move some honor tokens around. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting, watching a kill deck go up against um, Unicorn Swarm. All right. So England versus Germany, 2-2, two two. Uh, winner of this game will have a nice lead, let's go. I got an affiliate um, thing for Twitch today, so I managed to get some emotes going, but I'm not sure that they're available yet. I can't seem to use them myself. Uh, it says that they are waiting, but who knows, maybe it'll come around sometime. All right, so we have Scorpion on first player. That is very good for Shalasa, I think. Shalasa, traditionally a dragon player, I think, from what I've seen. Uh, but as uh, Warkeby is the resident dragon player for Germany, Shalasa maybe opts to play a secondary clan. Archer, of course, being the premier unicorn player for England. Clock's missing. Okay, new game. Oopsie. I have to wait for them to restart. Ooh, that's gonna be a great game as well. Dras is a really good unicorn player. For France. Alright, and we're good to go. We have a Chest clock, we have spectators on. Everything is good to go. Also, Switzerland and Philippines are playing. Spain versus Wales is already over. Alright, and it looks like it's pretty much the same with Scorpion on the first player again. So, no problem with just restarting the game.
Okay, uh, I was just messaging someone on Discord and we see John Rubenmonger played for Shalasa. It's the first pick, that's a decent choice. Ooh, an archer finding a waystation trader with the Gunso, as well as one keeper and a bunch of characters. So this is going to be a very interesting matchup because Shalasa's kill deck uh, is going to have trouble killing all these unicorn characters. But the Swarm deck is very uh, reliant on the Fugrete Glory. Um, and of course Cavalry Reserves and those who serve. And those are easy cancels for Shalasa. I don't think Archer is running any cancels. Um, he is not. Yeah. I we'll see a 4 bid from Archer here. Um, assuming that maybe Shalasa is going for the Dishonor Victor here. That's the game, main game plan. He is on Keeper there and he is playing. He's not playing back any compliment. Okay. Ooh, and we see a Sadako. Six character for seven fate seems like a good deal. Yeah, um, he will probably break a province this turn. All right, he never mind. He went four because of on the challenger, of course. That's why he went four. You get the buff. Yes, Archer will most likely uh, break at least one province this turn with this investment. He's uh, probably planning to break at least two. Um, the political one is going to be a bit tough. How many captive audience is he running? He's running no captive audience. That is very interesting, actually. I don't think I have seen an HMT deck without captive audience, like, ever. That means that he has more space for more military stuff, I guess. Sadako isn't getting marked. Now she's marked. So yeah, this Earth Ring is pretty decent here, I think. Um, I actually like this. Uh, because Archer is going to have trouble uh, taking this uh, Keeper Ring. And this can be huge, preventing the Earth. Yeah. Uh, uh, for Shalasa preventing the earth ring for Archer. No, I'm not going to go again. Oh, Ooh, that's a cool combo. Going Vice Proprietor to Dishonor and using the Ruinmonger to move the Dishonor to Sadako so she gets honored. That's a cool little interaction. Whoa. Okay. Honest Challenger is triggered and Shalasa beats 5 for some reason. Ouch. That is... Yeah, that seems like a mistake and it looks on Shalasa like it is as well. So Shalasa is down to 4 honor and remember there is no duty in the Scorpion decks now. Well, this city is definitely breaking. And Shalasa does not discard anything, which is a good idea. Finds those a serve. That's pretty good, though. Now she is Dako ready by Kirimbayushi. She does get the plus one plus one because Shalasa is down to four honor. Archer passes. I think he's gonna be ready for a water ring here. Force a defense from Sadako and get the ready the challenger. He could go water with the board rider, um, the station trader and youth. Or these three. Yeah, that makes sense. And then uh, you get the buff on the re recruit. Archer finds midnight travels. Midnight Devils could be used by the Waystation Trader, although that's not very strong here with both players on zero fate. 
Um, could bow the board rider. I'd say bowing the board rider is pretty good here. Forcing a use of the ready. I don't think Archer is running ready for battle, no. He's using take up command instead. And he's going void. They're trying to clear the board for next turn. Also a pretty good choice. Also buffing the battle main recruit, of course. And now Shalasa is considering what to do here. Does he defend? Or does what does he bow first and foremost? He bows the way station trader. Yeah, that's a pretty good choice. Um, can protect against a third attack or diluting the military attack to just the battle main recruit Let's see Can it? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to do Nej, det är någon G-klav Okej, så vi ser en undefended attack i Unwinded Rebels um, Archer finding a spoils Let's see what he discards here Maybe a conflict character Scars of Greater Glory. Then I assume he has one more in hand, perhaps. You see the void going on the young rumormonger instead of the vice proprietor. Not so scared about the bow when you have like five characters every turn. Yeah, this might be Sadako passing conflict uh, and try to defend. Archer's gonna have to play a bunch of cards to get over that Sadako. Uh, Bansai, Uri Tactics, on playing two Bansai. So I understand Shalasa thinking about his choices here. Because you could go water and bow the recruit or if Archer pre-stands the board rider um, and get another break, sure. And try to mitigate a second break by bowing one of these characters or reading a proprietor. Or you could go for the defense um, and ensure that Archer does not get a break, but that depends on what he has in hand, shall I say. He's only running Bansai as his military buffs. Oh, we see an infiltrator's tools going on the Sadako. That is very interesting and very aggressive from Shalassi here. Can we really need honor after the duel? Yeah. He's like down to two honor uh, with Sadako living play. He's gonna go for the airing here. He's gonna. Shalas is gonna be fine with taking the break um, against these two characters. He's only taking two breaks this turn. Uh, never mind, he might be taking three breaks if Archer has a bunch of <laughs> military pumps because he found Cons or Du, and that is. Two mili military attacks probably heading Shalasa's way here. So that is 5 4. 
uh, up to five with airing and then down to four uh, for the Sadako Lumte and then two unopposed that is two and then a firing down to one so Shalasa might um, end this turn on one honor with Archer being on first play next turn so yeah this is quite terrible for uh, our scorpion friend here Okay, so that is probably midnight travels on the stronghold for Archer. Yeah, of course, Archer can defend this as well, so even worse. Because uh, he can go water uh, to ready the Battle Maiden. Yeah, this looks to be like. We can scroll. Looks to be a very short game. We see the battle maiden going up to six, and Shalasa only has Bansai, as I said. And that is a pass. So that's gonna be. He's dead this turn, yeah. <laughs> Shalasa is dead this turn. Because that is two. Um, and then, um, yeah. <laughs> so that is England taking a very quick uh, 3 2 here. Because I don't think that secret cache will do anything. Yeah, Scorpion is dead. There is nothing that he can do from what I can see. Archer even plays Never Yield here to make sure that he gets the win here. But we're jumping over there after this. Yeah, there was another game, right? Yeah, I'm chatting to Chutrev to get the password for next uh, for next game. Yeah, this game is over. So that is 3-2 uh, to England. And I got the pass from Chutrev, hopefully. Or if anyone else has the password. That is, would be greatly appreciated. One to three or one to three four. I could have guessed that maybe. Okay, I won't be taking up the deck lists, but it looks like we have dress on secret fire. Uh, some more mid range stuff uh, compared to Archer. Playing a bit of the big dudes. We have Chagatai, we have Minamikase. We also see Seven Truth Seeker and Waste Station Trader. This might be uh, the Scorpion Splash, Forged Edict, and. Um, uh, Forced Edict and Calling in Favors. It's going to be interesting to see that in action. And on the other side we have Athusian with... Ooh, this is some spice taking some inspiration from our resident Swedish uh, Scorpion player playing Marauding Oni. So this is a very much a dual threat Scorpion playing bunch of big military dudes to protect military conflicts and maybe break and of course the dishonor package with black male artist and shoju and all that good stuff so this is going to be a very interesting game um, risky for the unicorn player to be playing forged edict into scorpion because every one of those cards is a honor token going away Here we see Tetsuko with two fate. It's in endless planes. What did that hit? Mm. Endless planes is guarding a goblin sneak, so that wasn't too bad. 
Okay, it's no big hit here. So maybe change the stream name while they're bidding and stuff. Let's go France versus Canada. It is Dress for France and Asusium Canada. There we go. Think? Yep. Okay. Alright, we see Asusium going into pilgrimage. Yeah, from a unicorn perspective, that's not a good hit for. I think uh, the Goblin Sneak wants more value out of that, but uh, that was in the past. We see Miyako going in Keeper. He has a Keeper in the Discord file as well. This is a good, very good uh, Earth Ring for Asusium, even though he doesn't get the, get the Ring effect, he does get the Dishonor. Uh, and the keeper. Oh, Dress having taken 12 minutes already. Only in turn two. Um, having made some very, very big decisions, I assume. So I'm interested to see what Dress goes for here. Goes for pass. Of course, Scorpion is on that Phoenix Splash, so display of power is a problem here. Mm. Dress might be going for a just a straight defense here on the Earth Ring. Uh, I mean, on the on the military attack here. Uh, try to get the uh, military ring that way instead. Let's see if it defends. Yep, there's a defense from Tetsuko. So he's gonna try to get the military ring this way, ready. And then maybe go fire. No, he is deciding not to defend. Unless he has an answer to oh yeah, his vice proprietor is one. Well. Yeah, that's that is entirely correct. And I'm not sure he wants to spend a conflict character uh, to defend here uh, because uh, he wants those to trigger HMT, especially in this um, bigger deck where you don't play that many characters. Oh, never mind. He's just gonna do it instead. Okay, there's a straight assassination onto that. Yeah, because he won't be breaking, uh, I assume, if he dishonors the Vital Painter. So, that's an interesting turn of events. And Dress down to 5 honor already. We saw a 5 to 3 bid as well. So, not, not even a 5 bid here from Dress. Dress is gonna need to break that Shoju, I think. Otherwise, this game is going <laughs> very much the opposite direction the last one game, the last game went. So yeah, it's gonna go fire onto Shoju, and it's secret cash, ouch. So soon it's gonna find some juicy cards here. Yeah, let's have a quick look uh, if we can find, I can swim in the French deck. Don't want to miss too much of the action, but let's just have a quick look. Let's not miss any action. We see, okay, just a defense and a spoils of war. It's got an assassination. Okay. Uh, also, we have to scorpion into I can swim is four fates, so that's very expensive. 
We do see one I can swim in the deck, okay. Otherwise it's pretty standard, with one off imbued with shadows. Let's see who wins the... Wins the... Favor? But that is showed you still available to Athusim, so this is gonna be very rough for Dress, I think. Going down to four honor and probably a two bid or a three bid from Dra Athusim to enable the stronghold as well. Worse if a Dead Tetsuko, yeah, probably. Especially now that Tetsuko is gonna gain Dress and honor, uh, technically. If Dress does find a wins with Yurk here, so at least that's good. Though he might want to consider using that Season of War here. Just to get rid of the Shoju, though there is Sensor, so uh, a lot of risks here. Yep, three Sensors of course. The Yurk is very crucial. I think the play here is just use the earth and see if um, Asusian plays the Disciple first, which he probably won't. Check it out, can be big here. Yeah, of course. Um, wins with the earth, doesn't, I mean, Earth becomes Sky doesn't do shit here. Oh, there was an Earth on Tetsuko, I missed that. That's very big actually. Uh, shutting down Tetsuko this turn. Yeah, should you just play it? I think Dress is considering just straight up buying Chagatai here. Because Athusim doesn't really have anything that can interact with him. <laughs> um, so just buying him here is not a terrible choice, I think. Because uh, Join the Fray can be cancelled. Dress is gonna opt for the uh, safer, uh, not the safer play, the the other play. I think uh, Chagatai, buying Chagatai is the safer play. Uh, although we could get uh, I can swim, so maybe not the safer play. It's gonna go for the two merchants instead. And the disciple for Athusium. Athusium going for a two bid, yes. And then get the stronghold trigger. Classic Scorpion. Always with the shenanigans. And that enables I can swim as well. Because we haven't seen that yet. Merchant discarding is two of assassination in, uh, in uh, Unicorn. That is uh, that is ballsy, playing two of uh, assassination. We see a stay your hand getting discarded as well. Some nice cycling here from the merchants. They are really nice characters. I really like these guys. Mostly because of the fork, but you know, uh, cycling is also one of my favorite mechanics in a game. Because I'm too poor to play card draw. I'm a red player in Magic. I don't play real card draw. I have to play complicated card draw. Same in uh, Unicorn. And there we see Shoju doing his thing. Dress down to six honor. Up one from last turn, that's a good sign. But I wonder what we're gonna see here from Athusium. If he has anything to stop these Chagatai charges here. The best thing uh, Scorpion can have here is Sensor and a display of power. That will pretty much seal the deal, I think. Draft, of course, is on Forged Edict, and I think this telegraphs that he has Forged Edict in hand. I mean, I'm not sure, he could be playing something else, but the courtier package uh, signals that he is on 
Scorpion Splash. Can't have Edict, why not? Yeah, ponies have Edict. Um, it's a one of the versions that has been going around. Yeah. You might be on Calling of Favors or Miyako. Miyako is a good choice as well. To get another conflict going. And considering he has True Seeker, he's probably on Miyako. See, so yeah, we have the Scorpion on the Merchant. Counter the appearance. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much what the uh, Edict package is used for. And which we see the Joint Fray and the Sensor from Astusium. Do we see a Forged Edict? Forged Edict is going to be super expensive here. I think Dras wants to save a Forged Edict for a DUP here, if he has one. I'm just trying to get another Joint Fray. No, you see the Forged Edict. Okay. Do we see another Sensor? No, second Sensor. I think this is going to be a display of power though, and that will probably be game. We see a, this on, on Chagatai. Oh, never mind, if it doesn't break, um, uh, the display of power is not that good. But I think Dras is going to have to go for the break here. He's already played into the display of power, he might as well play into it more, I don't know. So that's all three we have to scope and play. Yeah, so Dress is in a very tough spot here. Either he goes for the break and prays that Athosium somehow doesn't have display of power, although he's very much telegraphing it here. Um, or he just takes it like it is right now um, and tries to not die. No, he's gonna go for the Tessen, he doesn't have even a curved blade here or a fine katana. He has a Tessen. And there's an icon for him. <laughs> well, well. Ouch. So, no need to use this blue power, just kill the guy instead. And there's a cavalry reserves. Okay. And the sensor. Oh shit. That looks like game to me. It's double sensor, one sensor left. Uh, cavalry service was cancelled. No fate left for either join the fray, no characters, and no cavalry service. And Dress probably doesn't have enough juice to get through this pilgrimage here. This is probably going to be showed you. Slamming into a province, although that's kind of risky. It probably goes military first, actually. Um, try to find a cons ordu, not just dirtle into it. So I think Dras might survive this turn, but be definitely dead next turn, unless a miracle happens. I.e., two yurts and then um, something. But I guess um, this was be a better line for Dress than the just straight up buying Chagatai because he would have gotten killed by the Earth to by the I can swim um, if I just straight up bought him as well. It would have been more expensive. Although he could have saw the, saw the big big brain play of bidding two instead of bidding one to counter the I can swim. Jax was dead either way, yeah, uh, the bid 2 was the thing that killed Chagatai. And we're gonna see a political poke with just the keeper here, finding a polling authority. So that is probably Feast of Famine, and then Cons Urdu on box, perhaps. We do see a defense from the merchant. Pass from Dras. Yeah, poking Paul is interesting, although there is a polling, so I guess he wants to, to save his uh, 
save it as afraid of upholding authority and of course um, uh, Feast of Famine. Feast of Famine could have saved Tetsuko here. Yeah, and, and he probably has a bunch of backhand ads as well, so I think that was a good poke actually. Now we're gonna see the second poke here going military. Probably air. Or it could go, it could probably go fire and then go air next turn for the win. Unless it just has to win here because that is five, four, three, two, and then two backhanders. Uh, he just needs one backhander though because if it goes air. No, uh, Tetsuko is still a thing. That is six. Oh, imbued shadows. Gets rid of the the one of imbued. It gets rid of the honor token. Pone is dead in multiple ways. Asusum even passes his conflict here. Yeah, of course, he couldn't attack because then Drass could have maybe had a military buff to break upholding. Although we could have gone for what probably is um, the thing, Feast of Hammond. See Master Whisperer as well. Drass down to 3 honor. Master Whisperer played with one fate as well as add by artist to punch a card draw here. As passes with just one character. So add by artist looking for a card. Probably gonna see Master Whisperer go looting as well. Just got done with a meeting. Unicorn looks pretty pooched. Yeah, one could say that. Um, it's probably a revenge from the last game we just watched, which was uh, also Unicorn versus Scorpion, in which the Unicorn won in turn two uh, really quickly with Scorpion dishonoring out. No, was it turn one? It was actually turn one. Yeah, uh, the Unicorn won in turn one on dishonor against Scorpion. So Scorpion getting the revenge here in this game. Um, we're actually in turn 4 somehow. Game has been chugging along here. Yeah, if you don't uh, take into account the turn, uh, the turn we're on, it's pretty much flipped around as Adirai said. Yeah, it is. Just the famine here. Going military, that is, um, that is ballsy. I guess it is just to assert dominance here. And throw the backhanders in the conflict just because you can. That is one cavalry reserves and one join the fray played. If there's a join the fray here, um, Dras could somehow survive, moving the ring to like a water, and then get a conflict character attack and get the airing. Unless there's a display of power. Also says Nathan Bansai. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Dropping you down to one honor. See a reserves here though. Shon Shonya is pretty big here. He is a one honor. One extra honor. Although the Bansai... Assassination trick almost gets him to win here, uh, except Shono. Although I think the Scorpion is running Kiriko as well. Yeah, three of Kiriko. And there we see, as you said, the assassination play. So then there's Amura. Now I think we might see Shono trigger. Don't think we can see the Shono trigger. We see pass, yeah, because of Kiriko. And there we see the Bansai. Ouch. And now Dras probably has to use Shono or a military buff. We see the Shono buff, so that's probably a Kiriko. Nope, no Kiriko. Uh, stronghold and then backhanded. Yep. 
So two very quick games here today. Um, exciting in its own way. Uh, a bit of a contrast to the slogs that we've gotten uh, before. So we can see that this game can actually be played very quickly. Scorpion getting some very fast dishonor here and getting very quickly dishonored in that last game as well. So everyone getting a bit of everything here. Let's have a quick look at the Canada versus France standings. So that is a one to one currently, Canada versus France. All right. So I don't think there's any other games. Nope. There is another game, okay. Do we have a password? I think in like 10 minutes. That is the wrong page. There are no games currently going on from like what I can see. Let's have a quick look here on the Discord. I don't seem to find any more games. Maybe that was this one. Yeah, it might have been. Um, so, I guess we're going to wrap up the stream for today. A very quick stream today. Um, uh, which is good for me. Uh, I get more time to do other stuff. But it's also a pleasure to stream. Uh, this game is awesome. I love this game so much. But thank you all for watching, um, and I'll see you some other time.